Um, as far as the temperature goes, um, again, we switched to this and we were having that situation where like a coordinator would open the, the refrigerator to look for the, for, for IP Yes, yes. for 30 seconds. And then the temperature jumped up to eight, Yes. 8.1, 8.2 and close it. And then it takes some time to get back down. So what I, I came to find, and this is the fun part of my job is I was like, what the hell is going on? I don't know if your current stuff is in, in, in a buffer, which Like basically, in a cup or something? yeah. So there's like a glycol buffers. If you look at your, your equipment, The, the temperature probe is in a liquid solution, which reads the, the, the actual temperature, right? If your probe is just hanging, and this is a tip for anybody that's using these kind of things and, ha and having these issues, um, we, we, start, we, we purchased um, uh, glycol buffers for the temperature probes. Okay. I kid you not, we Wow. can have the refrigerator open for a minute to look for the IP. We have not had... any of these false excursions. I consider them false excursions because it was initially reading just the air around the probe, which escapes right away versus it being in a liquid solution that kept the temperature in range. And this is across ambient, refrigerated, minus 20, minus 70 or 80. Um, and for the past, I, I would say at least two months, we've avoided these false excursions and not having to make these reports. Because um, those are annoying, Removing false man. excursions.